China's ambitious water transfer project, aimed at alleviating water shortages in its northern cities, has captured global attention. But as this monumental endeavor unfolds, it faces formidable challenges and raises critical questions about its environmental impact and efficacy. Join us as we delve into the complexities of China's audacious quest to quench the thirst of millions while navigating treacherous terrain and international concerns. Stay tuned for a closer look at the past, present, and future of the world's most significant project. Water shortages in northern cities are being addressed by the Water Transfer Project, but it has encountered problems, caused environmental harm, and raised questions. Despite the challenges posed by the terrain, China is constructing a significant water transfer project to supply fresh water to its arid northern industrial centers. Technology will be essential in tackling desertification, a serious issue stemming from overgrazing and a lack of soil cover, resulting in the release of carbon and methane, which accelerates climate change. Mao Zedong suggested China's project in 1952, and the State Council approved it in 2002 as a solution to the water shortage in northern cities brought on by the overuse of groundwater and desertification. The eastern route of China's project, which will benefit 10 million people in Tianjin, was finished in 2017 despite delays. But the central route encountered difficulties due to a lack of infrastructure. By 2050, China hopes to connect the Yangtze River to the Yellow River through the Qinghai-Tibet Plateau, bringing 17 cubic kilometers of fresh water per year to the provinces in the north of the country. There are concerns regarding the project's advantages and effects on the environment given that the South North Water Transfer Project in China has already cost $62 billion in addition to continuing maintenance costs. The project also hasn't entirely met its goal of bringing clean water to the north. After an unsuccessful attempt to reduce the number of elephants, looking for alternatives because livestock is not damaging to the environment, and safeguarding animals without hunting caused the degradation of the land. Large herds of grazing animals reduce soil erosion and desertification, which affects both the microclimate and the macroclimate. In contrast, the northern and far western regions of the nation present a starkly different landscape. Stretching from the arid expanses of the Taklamakan and Gobi deserts in the north to the formidable towering terrains of the Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau, much of China's northwestern land remains sparsely populated and unsuitable for agriculture. This distinction is exemplified by the fact that a staggering 94% of China's population resides to the east of this geographical divide, an imaginary line that effectively separates the country into two contrasting halves. Throughout history, Beijing and the surrounding northern cities have played pivotal roles as centers of population, agriculture, and trade within the nation. However, as China's population and prosperity experienced unprecedented growth during the mid-20th century, essential resources like water became increasingly scarce in the region. Northern cities such as Beijing, once thriving hubs, encountered mounting challenges in securing this vital resource. While the central route encountered problems because of a lack of infrastructure, the eastern route of the $62 billion project was experiencing minor delays. The project's goal is to transfer fresh water from the south to the north, helping 10 million people in Tianjin. The Danjiangku Reservoir serves as the starting point of China's Central Route Water Transfer Project. From there, the water travels 1,200 kilometers, passing over elevated canals and aqueducts as it flows downstream toward the north, displacing more than 300,000 people along the way. In addition to proposing to develop a network of rivers and tunnels to connect the Yangtze River to the Yellow River across the Qinghai-Tibet Plateau, China is currently building a large underground tunnel to transfer water from the Han River to the Three Gorges Dam and ultimately to Beijing. Despite India and Southeast Asia's concerns that China would siphon water from international rivers, China's project has been successful in supplying water to millions of its inhabitants. The $62 billion project in China has harmed the environment, particularly by drying up rivers, polluting artificial rivers, and increasing the risk of saltwater backflow, while the Western Route's construction is being delayed because of worries about landslides and environmental damage. 
There are concerns regarding the project's advantages and effects on the environment given that the South-North project in China. The project also hasn't entirely met its goal of bringing clean water to the North. China's Water Transfer Project, a monumental $62 billion endeavor, aims to alleviate water shortages in northern cities, but is confronted with formidable challenges and environmental concerns. As we continue to cover the evolving story of water supply, environmental impact, and international relations, we invite you to join us on a journey that explores the complexities and impacts of this audacious project. Subscribe now to stay connected.